Welcome back to the channel everybody. Uh, today we've got another B3. This one again comes from Elliot. Elliot bought the Trot and also the Tendulka and he's also gone for another play of that style. He seems to have got pretty hooked on the uh, whole thing with B3 being able to get customized uh, cricket bat designs. So he sent me a few pictures of what he was thinking about uh, and one was the Big Edge Warner because apparently they could get oversized clefts. And one was the big spine warner. So which one did he choose? So he's gone for what they're calling the big spine warner. I'll put the photo up on the screen. This is saying this has got a 230 mil middle position, 33 mil edges and somewhere near 80 mil spine. The bat itself is humongous. I mean, compare that diagram to the actual size of the bat. Angle. I'll put that in front of the other camera so you can just see that spine shot. I mean, obviously we've all seen the XP80s in the past. This one's a little bit different because that middle position is actually a little bit lower than the XP80 was. Uh, it's in more of a mid-high position, I would call. Uh, and you can see that edge profile is it's not peaking at all. So you should uh, be in for a middle position that's going to run pretty much from here all the way up to about there. I think as, as most of these bats, as the spine and the edge start to fall away, um, you tend to get a lack of feel up towards the stickers. But I mean, quite frankly, this is not where you're going to be hitting. This is where you're going to be hitting. And that middle position is right in the center of it. So they say on that uh, profile 33.5 mil edge. I'm not 100% sure whether he got this or not. Uh, it does have the scuff sheet on it, which indicates to me that was a possibility. So, yeah, that's pretty close. They rounded the edge a little bit there, but it's 33. And the spine is supposed to be somewhere near 80 mil. Yeah, it's pretty close, 78.7. So it's massive spine and it's nice and full, as you can see there. There doesn't appear to be a lot of concaving, if any, through there. I mean, it's none, really, uh, all the way through that position there. So it's nice and full and that spine carries on into the toe. So it's obviously Warner didn't get his bats made by B3. This is just their replica. Um, of what it would have been like. Uh, obviously there's some big differences between what Warner actually used and possibly by this time I've already put out the uh, Grey Nichols Big Kaboom review. Uh, I'll put a link to that in the uh, description and on the end credits if you want to have a look at that one. Uh, this particular one is humongous as well and just have a look how that comes through. So the finishing is pretty good, but all in all, pretty good. And because uh, this is cut by CNC, I don't need to measure the other side because it will be identical on both sides. Uh, width for these bats, normally B3 don't take any shortcuts. And this is uh, 107.9 with the scuff sheet on, so that's perfect. And as far as shoulder decent shoulders 14 mil and this at the edge is 17.6 and in the center you're looking at 25.6 in the center i'll just have to bring up that diagram and just compare that uh that said 24 in the center. So this is a little bit bigger in the center, obviously, with the scuff sheet. So uh, pretty much what they've uh, provided him in the picture is what they've supplied. Uh, he did get a photo of his willow selection before it came through. I'll put that up there, and he got a, a, a photo of when it was in manufacture. It's gone with the green stickers and the British green and sort of a lime green grip. The handle is the regular. Uh, B3 handle, which is the 
two cork, one centre rubber, and the handle is a, I'd call that a semi-oval, that particular shape. And it's a nice medium size thickness. It's not too thick, um, but it's it feels good. Uh, obviously, I feel a lot better with gloves on. So yeah, quite impressed with that. Now, as far as feel, this particular bat, I would probably think that feels somewhere around 211 to 212. And I've got to cut to this photo because I did weigh it, but I did it in the previous video that I lost and I forgot to do it in the second video. It was just over 214 uh, in actual weight. You can see here an email of Richard Blakely, the general manager of B3, confirming to the owner that the 412 density cleft would weigh on the model 2750, Big Warner Spine 214. So it came in just above that once he got it scuffed and prepared, which I have had that confirmed too. It doesn't have a bow as such, like most B3. Uh, and one thing I have noticed here, which I think this happened on the Beluga too, uh, because of the way they've designed their stickers, they go so long down the back, with different spine shapes, they can run into trouble when they try and bring the stickers up the incline. So this is sort of... Um, sticker has sort of gathered at that point there. We will bring in our comparison bat as I've been doing in the last few videos. No more ball bouncers. Put that one to the back and the comparison bat is here. Grab my hammer and we will tap this up. I want you to look at the actual rebound. and the rebound qualities. Remembering this is a bat that's been used. So that's going really nicely. I've really been to think about that bat a few times. And now we'll grab this bat. So you know, middle position going pretty well. Slight bit of a hard bar there, but I expect that will actually be all right in the game. And it's a bit hard off this end here, but in the main middle, as I sort of explained it to you when I looked at the profile, it is. Uh, really responding in that centre middle position. That needs playing, uh, it will only get better. So yeah, I'm pretty uh, impressed with that. So that's a two stripe, that's their grade two. Uh, you'd have to contact them as to what that actually costs. This particular profile says 2750, so that's the number if you wanted to get that profile made. Yeah, but well done to B3 and well done to Elliot. And thank you very much for sending that over for review. That will be coming back to you this week. Um, I'll do a little shoe goo for you there too. So thank you very much. And once again, B3.